Hello and welcome back to another video. Finally we have some big news about Test Drive Unlimited Solar Crown. The last week or so they've posted some challenges on an alternate reality game or ARG which revealed some cars that are coming to the game some of which we already knew and then after that we got another new trailer the release date trailer. So today we're going to look at that trailer as well as the different editions of the game that are now available for pre-order. So let's start by watching through this new trailer um, before we take a bit of a more in-depth look at what's hidden away in it. So obviously we have the Bugatti, which we already know about. I don't think this Lamborghini was spotted anywhere yet, the Centenario. Got some views of the underground car parks. And we've got a date counting backwards in the bottom corner, which will become clear in a minute. But yeah, plenty of different models of car in here, several of which I don't think we've seen before. And the increasingly luxurious suites that I could claim as my reputation grew. Got a Regera. Apollo IE we know about before. We've got the long tunnel under Hong Kong Island. Their representation of sophistication and prestige made me join them without hesitation. The streets All right, Spider. I always believed success is synonymous with making it the SL, the Beetle, and the Citroen. I think we've already had confirmed. We've got some classic rallying cars. Stratos, of course, in TDU2 is one of the wrecked vehicles. And then we have a BMW as well, which I don't think we've previously seen. Or the Vantage, I don't think we've seen that anywhere. And finally, uh, the timer ticks down to the release date. There we have it. Now, they did have a release date before of September 2022, but that, of course, got delayed a lot. This time, though, given pre-orders are actually opening um, for different editions of the game, and we know what these editions are, I think it is finally happening, and this is the final release date. Plus, it kind of needs to release pretty quickly. It's highly likely that Forza Horizon 6 will be announced this month and launch later this year. And after that, we then have a GTA 6 releasing. So putting this out before either of those is pretty important, I think. Anyway, back to the trailer. What else is hidden away in there? So we, of course, see the Bugatti at the beginning, which is already confirmed. Um, but in one shot, it's displayed in one of the hotel suites, which I really hope is something we can do, because I would love an Aston Martin in my living room, <laughs> even if it is just in game. Then we, of course, see the Lamborghini Centenario, which is a new reveal. We've not seen that previously. The Dodge Challenger Hellcat, I think, is. And the Shelby GT500, I think they're both also new. Uh, that GT500 was in TDU2 as well, that generation. There is also a Camaro and 370Z that are driven past in one shot, which are quite well hidden. The Camaro is actually one of the cars that was revealed from the ARG, and the Nissan I think we already knew about. We then saw a McLaren 720S, Koenigsegg Regera, and this funny grey car, which if paused on this shot we can tell is a Fenier Supersport. Then we have the Apollo IE, which was of course already revealed. The Audi R8 Spider is again one of the cars from the ARG. The SLK 55 was previously shown, as was the classic Beetle and the 2CV. The classic Alpine and the Stratos I feel like were revealed, but I don't know if I'm just thinking of the Stratos because it was the wreck from TDU2, um, but those are both in the game anyway. Then we see the Range Rover and the G-Wagon again, which we already knew were coming to the game, but also a brilliantly cool looking buggy. And finally, we see the BMW M8 and the Aston Martin Vantage, which are both new reveals. That Aston looks very, very good. As far as I'm aware, that is all of the cars that were in the trailer, but there may have been some more even better hidden than that, though. So do let me know if there's anything else you spotted that I missed there. Over on the website where the ARG was playable, there was a link to a page explaining the different editions of the game that are now open for pre-orders. Firstly, if you pre-order any version of the game, including the standard edition, 
you will get access to the 2006 Ford GT. Other than that, the standard game is just the standard game. There were no prices on the website either, and despite pre-orders supposedly being available on Steam, I couldn't find an option there yet, so I went and looked at the PlayStation website where they do show the pre-orders and the pricing. The standard game will be $49.99 here in the UK, or a similar equivalent elsewhere in the world. That's the standard edition. We then have two silver editions, one for the Streets Clan and one for the Sharps Clan, depending on which way you're going to go. Each with two exclusive cars, two days early unlock, beta access, solar pass access, some stickers and an outfit. In addition to the early unlock and the beta access, the Silver Streets edition gives you access to the Land Rover Range Rover Sport SVR, which yes is its full name, and the Mercedes-Benz SLS AMG, as well as the Streets sticker pack and the Lord of the Streets outfit. Whilst the Silver Sharps edition gives you access to the Jaguar F-Type SVR and the Audi R8 V10 RWS Spider, the Sharps sticker pack and the Baron of the Sharps outfit, and both of these Silver editions will be $64.99. And last but certainly not least, we have the big one, the Gold Edition, which gives you access to all of the cars, stickers and outfits from both the Silver Streets Edition and the Silver Sharps Edition. Not only do you get the Range Rover, SLS, F-Type and R8, but in addition to all of those, you will get exclusive access to the Maserati MC20 and the Chevrolet Camaro ZL1. At this rate, the MC20 may actually be in TDU before it finally comes to Forza. Anyway, as well as this, the Gold Edition also gives you 7 days early unlock, beta access and VIP beta access, and as well as the Solar Pass, you get the VIP Solar Pass unlocked to level 20 immediately, so we kind of get the idea what these Game Pass passes will be like. You'll unlock cars and outfits and things throughout seasons, I'm guessing. This Gold Edition will be $74.99. And in case you missed out on the ARG with all the covered cars last week, where we got them revealed, basically the cars that were revealed in that are the cars that are now in these different editions. And that is going to do it for today's video, taking a closer look at the TDUSC release date trailer and all of the different editions that are available for pre-order. Super exciting to finally have a release date of the 12th of September. Let's just hope it doesn't get delayed, but I'm pretty sure this is quite a concrete date at this point. They can't really move it back. But we also had several new cars revealed um, in that trailer and yet yeah, all of the information about pre-orders, so super excited about it. I'm of course going to be getting hold of the Gold Edition, because I want access to all of those brilliant cars that are in there. Um, but anyway, do let me know your thoughts on this upcoming game, and whether you'll be pre-ordering, and which version you might go for. But for today's video, that is going to be all, so thank you very much for watching, and I'll be back with the next one very soon.